a very warm welcome, one and all. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga. We're doing this one in English, because I'm English, and I've struggled to do it in French and Italian. But anyway, we're on the Commodore Amiga. This one's called Gaza Super Soccer, yes, published by Empire Software in 1989. It's a football game, which also came out on the Atari ST. Commodore 64, Spectrum and the Amstrad had a sequel called Gaza 2, believe it or not, in 91. Right, here's all the options here. Um, I don't seem to be able to pick friendly. Doesn't look like the most advanced of um, menu systems to start us off with, but let's not prejudge. Uh, based on uh, Paul Gascoigne, of course, a football player of great repute, started off in Newcastle, then went to Tottenham, then Lazio, Rangers, 57 caps for England and got 10 goals. Right, I'm trying to get into this game as I'm talking to you at the same time. Right, Division 1. Oh man, why can't we just start the game? These reviews aren't about expert gameplay, it's about seeing what your first experience would have been on the game. This is not very good at the moment. Uh, and how you would have got on. What? What's this? It wants me to edit all the players. I say, I don't want to edit all the players, I just want to play a game. Let me play the game, please. 1989. So, Kickoff 2 uh, was by Anko, come two years later in 91. Sensible Soccer in 1992. But there was some earlier Kickoff games. Oh, I ain't got time to go through this. I'm going to have to edit this. Why have I have to pick them all individually? That is rubbish. Man. Keeping going here. Keeping going. I've almost picked them all. I suppose if I went to the bottom. That might pick them all automatically. Might, and it? so that might save me a bit of time. Anyway, let's see how this football game lasts. We haven't even started, got into it yet. Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. And I hope we don't... Hang on a minute. Are both teams in red? Surely they wouldn't do that to us, would they? Surely not. Here we go. And both teams are in red. Red. I'm the one. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the one on the left. And we're, oh god, the angles change. This is crazy talk. Um, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What's going on? Right. So I think I'm kicking up. I think. Am I kicking down? I don't know. Right. No. I no. I'm tr I'm trying to kick it up out of the screen, uh, then to get horizontally. This this doesn't control very well. Uh, yes. Right. Uh. Now, the longer you hold down the fire button, the, the, what did it say? The longer you hold down the fire button, the further it fires. Uh, it's not very playable, this game. The angle's weird. It's changing around. And um, by pressing fire button, I control the nearest player to the ball, I think. Player two, player seven. But remember, you can change these players if you've got the time with the editor in the middle. Red against red. How do I get out? I can't keep playing this. The speech, oh, they scored a goal, have they? The speech is, is rubbish, whatever they just said, but why is it red against red? The crowd are flickering there like a bunch of nincompoops. If you're flickering like a bunch of nincompoops watching a game of two teams playing in identical colours, then comment in the comment section below. Now, I'm not sure what this scored back in the day, but I reckon it was pretty bad. Um, it's pretty hopeless, this. Um, the only worst game I can think of is Graham Soonis' Vector Soccer. Uh, check out the review of that. Um, yeah, that was awful. It went super slow. And there was like um, a 3D one as well, called 3D Soccer, maybe. That was quite bad. But this one, you know, you've got to compare it to the Kickoff series and Sensible Soccer. It's missing it by miles. Uh, these reviews about seeing how you would have got on with the first or second go, and I would have taken it back to the shop because it's absolutely terrible. Now, I don't know why then Empire Sof Software released a sequel, Gaza 2. We'll see if that's any better, I presume, later on down the line. But uh, this first one, Gaza Super Soccer, must have sold enough for, to warrant a sequel. Uh, we interested to see how this thing goes on the spectrum, but I just, I'm just kicking the ball out of play all the time. Uh, Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. As you know, they both play in Never red. Shot. There's not... The speech is sporadic. I can't really hear what they're saying. Uh, the the control is terrible. Uh, the movement is terrible. Uh, the view... The angle screen changing each time is bad. When you dribble... See, when you dribble out of one bit, uh, you can quite easily just kick the ball straight off because, you know, the controls the controls are different. So if I'm going, if I'm going down uh, on this and then it cuts to this, I suddenly go down the screen there and I can just dribble the ball safely off. Appalling. I wonder if Paul Gascoigne actually saw any of this game before it was released. I hardly doubt it. He just got some money transferred into his um, um, bank account. I don't think he's got much left now. now. I'm trying to boot this out of my area there. It's not going anywhere. Who's who? 
This game should not have been allowed. Uh, I don't think it's play tested. They thought that they had the name Paul Gascoigne on it. Um, then it will sell anyway. But it's abysmal in all degrees. If you played it on any other system, let me know. It might be that I'm just a bit rubbish at it and need to practice before I get the best out of it. But I, I doubt it somehow. Uh, graphics aren't as good as what the Commodore Amiga could, could, could do. Um, speech is rubbish, uh, play is rubbish, the whole idea is rubbish, the menu system is rubbish, uh, it's hard to get into the game quickly, and there's no real reason to keep coming back and playing this over and over again, even if we work out what colours what. So let's escape then. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm doing it unfairly. I'm trying to escape, right, as escape, right. Gazza digital, digital system, here's all the results of the uh, cups. Right, maybe, maybe, I don't think so, but maybe because both teams were in red, I was playing it unfairly. So let's get out of here. Let's try and pick two teams that play in at least different colours to see if the play extends at any point. But if you're playing a league on this thing and the system isn't seen, even analysing who's who's who, then it's 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 going to come up a lot, this sort of like problem. Uh, a lot. Right, let's get out of here. The winner is Sheffield Wednesday. Well, well done. Not Corned Beef Tuesday, but Sheffield Wednesday. Right, so... Let's see if we can do a friendly this time. I couldn't do it last time. This is a cracked version you might have seen. It plays exactly the same. Play friendly. Please let me play a friendly. Please let me play. Not many people would say that playing this game. I can tell you. Now, if you're liking your Commodore Amiga stuff, they're all there in a playlist. To get there, click on my username. It takes you to the channel page. Uh, then click on playlist and see Commodore Amiga there along with a lot of stuff. And if you watch this far into the video, what is a truly a goddamn awful game, uh, then it might be that you like this kind of guff, this commentary, this trip down nostalgia and stress bus city, uh, then please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Massive thank you to the subscribers already, especially if you're a long-term subscriber, and huge thanks to, I don't want to do any practice in here, huge thanks to the, the members. If you want to be a member, keep this show on the road in tricky times. Red again? I don't want to be these two. Right, if you want, yeah, if you want this uh, abysmal stuff to continue, uh, yeah, then be a member. It's not compulsory, but click on the button and see what it's all about. It helps me great dearly. Right, and I don't have to work so many hours at work and I can spend more time on this machine. Stress busting, hooray! Uh, back in the day, this wouldn't be a stress bus. You just thought how much money, pocket money, you wasted on the game. Look, surely, surely I, Tottenham don't play in red. Surely it's not going to make you have every, every game both play in red. Uh, can we edit this somehow? Uh, right, players two, no. Good luck getting a second player here, that's all I can tell you. Right, so if I can ever work out these colours, I will try and um, play at least one half. I can't see myself playing the whole game. We aim the views to be about ten minutes long, but uh, if the game's terrible, I will ditch out. Or if I lose track of time because the game's good, or there's something about it I get, or get some level of addictability, I'll play it a bit more. Doesn't feel like a 16-bit game. Oh, look, there's the colours, right? White and red and white gold and black so you can change the right blue right the other team please do not play in blue it's gonna be a blue christmas world who thank you very much elvis right so tottenham in blue southampton in white now is this going to make the game any better at all we'll soon see hang on to your football boots right the crowd are flashing again uh, a lot of scarves in the crowd and um Yes, I'm the blue ones now. Clever shot. What? What? Ooh. Clever shot, Dunlop. Right, now I see the cut seems to get, get it. Passing is awkward Clever on this shot. thing. Clever shot. Right, goalie. Here's the goalie. Whoops. Oh, I kicked it straight out of play. Yeah, th there's Clever no shot. reason. There's no reason to play this back Clever in the day. Shot. And there's certainly... So, as I go a goal down, there's certainly no reason uh, to be playing it now. Um, it's one of the worst football games I've ever come across. There's a lot of competition there. 16 bits should be able to do good football games. This this angle change, you know, I don't know if Gas Gascoigne 2 does it, Gazza 2 does it, but it just doesn't work at all. Uh, it doesn't flow this game. I hate it. I hate the thing. If you like the thing, you don't always have to agree with the person reviewing the game, you know, it's just their opinion. Uh, but I hate the thing. I can't think of one good thing to say about it, uh, starting from the awful menu system that's convoluted, takes too long to get into it. There should be like a, a quick play. Like like sensible soccer, you're there, you just click on a couple of buttons, you could be in a game. Here, you have to do a lot of work, uh, and, and here's the result. This is what you see at the end of it. I mean, they've gone for side, side scrolling. It doesn't scroll at all, does it really? So it's just a flip screen. Uh, a flip screen football, and when you get down the end, it flips to that. 
and uh, good luck trying to work that rubbish out. Uh, it just changes all the angles. It doesn't work. It doesn't work on any level. If it was a multi-story car park, every level would be rubbish. Right, anyway, now uh, we're 1-0 down. Southampton are beating the Tottenham's. Uh, please come to the end of the game as quickly as possible. So, I, I don't think... I mean, good luck any kids that played this over and over again. I mean, the football game's out of that sort of like time. It was, well, the original kickoffs and kickoff extra time was circulating about then. They're better than this, like pure top down. This is more 3D than that. Uh, but yeah, they're totally and utterly crushed by kickoff two and sensible soccer, those two series uh, there. Uh, Emlyn Hughes soccer, I didn't get on with that too much uh, on John Barnes soccer, but they're, they're better than this one. Uh, Striker, that's better than this one. We've reviewed, we've reviewed a, a few uh, football games uh, on the Commonwealth League, but all, all of them, with the exception of, as I say, Graham Sooner's soccer and that 3D soccer thing, uh, 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 you know, are, are better than this. It, it's painful for me to play this. It's, it's like sitting on a cactus. It's that level of painless, and you think, shall I sit on a cactus again? No, I don't really want to sit on a cactus again, but it's preferable to play in this game. If you're currently sitting on a cactus, then, um, you know, I'm jealous of you. You're sitting on a cactus and I'm having to play this. Right, but comment below if you are sitting on a cactus. Uh, don't sit Disclaimer, you don't have to be sitting on a cactus to play this game. That's me covered. I won't be in the news. Crazy retro man tells kids to sit on cactus. That's not happening, I told you. Right, I go off on a tangent quite a lot. As I say, with stress busting, I'm a very stress busty man. Yes, we're living in a stress busting world, and I am a stress busting man. Yay! Right, what we were talking about again? And we're kicking the ball round like a wally. Uh, I, I can't really tell you too much about this game. You already know what I feel about the thing. I mean, some kids might have spent ages editing all these player names, so instead of player 11, it might be all their friends', friends um, names. But it's not the easiest of editing, and even that bit's frustrating, but it's it's on a par with the game so it's consistent it's consistent in all departments that's what I would say right the half last three minutes we only got about two seconds left I can't show you anymore because there isn't any more there isn't any more to see friendlies cups leagues if you can get there but I'm getting out of here and it's long overdue that's 12 minutes I'm not getting back so I hope you'll have a look at that I hated every aspect of it uh, it was Gaza's Super Soccer on the Commodore Amiga published by Empire Software in 1989 I really wish they hadn't have bothered but if you've got any, any comments about this game similar games or anything retro or football then comment in the comment section below you're always more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye Bye. Goodbye. Um, speech is rubbish. Uh, play is rubbish. The whole idea is rubbish. The menu system is rubbish. Uh, it's hard to get into the game quickly, and there's no real reason to keep coming back and playing this over and over again. I hate it. I hate the thing.